Hey there, little Super Bowl buddies. It's Max Kevin here. It's a little cutie podcast. It's not too long. Dude, it's fucking Super Bowl Sunday, dude. Dude, all my boys, we're having a party at Chad's house, dude. There's gonna be wings. There's gonna be pizza. There's gonna be nachos. We're just gonna get by and drink beer. And his wife, Jenny's gonna be like, you don't clean up the house. And Chad's gonna be like, fuck you, bitch. Go get me another beer, right? And then we're gonna high five, man. Uh, uh, what are you guys doing? Are you watching the Super Bowl right now? I don't know if you guys are football fans, you know, uh, go Chargers, you know, or oh, then make it this year, <laughs> oopsies, uh, you know, anyway, I'm, uh, currently watching the Super Bowl, you know, as I, as I, uh, record this, I'm, uh, I'm, um, streaming it, you know, I don't have a TV, I just stream it on the internet, you just type in NFL stream, NFL stream on the Google there, and, uh, you get a bunch of websites where you get to stream it, you know, I like how, I like how, like, the TV executives had don't understand how the internet works, and so they don't actually host it and stream it on their own website because, like, they want people to watch it on their TV, and so people just end up doing it illegally. You know, kind of. It's like, come on, old man, get with the times, right? It's 2019, man. It's 2019. You have a you have a free stream on the CBS website because I don't know. Maybe they do. I didn't even look. Anyway, uh, let's see what else is going on. You know, the. Uh, my girlfriend was asking me, like, who's going to sing at halftime, you know? And uh, I was telling her, like, well, no one really wants to sing at halftime, you know, because all the scandals, you know, all the political scandals, like, uh, with the kneeling and stuff. You know, it's like, how, how do I explain this to her? You know, she doesn't really speak English. It's like, oh, well, well, see, there's this guy a couple years ago. He started kneeling because, well, for one thing, he kind of, he was having a bad year and he wanted more attention. Well, a lot of people say that. And, uh... He was also adopted and raised by a white family, but he identifies as black with his afro. And uh, he was he was protesting because there was a lot of police violence against black people, apparently, which also might have been a fake media thing. But, you know, well, I don't want to get too into that, but let's just let's just assume, you know, he was protesting. And uh, so he was taking a knee to uh, to uh, I don't know. I guess, inspire the cops to stop shooting black people, I guess, well, you know, uh, I mean, I mean, I guess that would work, you know, if I was a cop, and it's like, oh, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill some minorities this week, you know, but, but first I'm gonna watch a little football, you know, and then they see him kneeling, it's like, oh, well, I guess, well, yeah, I guess I won't shoot anybody this week, you know, I mean, I don't know, protesting is pretty effective, I guess, if you think about it, <laughs> anyway, uh, so, you know, uh, so I told her about that, and then how, you know, everyone's like, oh, they should, they should, they should stand up, they should kneel, you know, how, how it became like a big hubaloo, it became a big NFL hubaloo, you know, and, uh, which was also kind of weird, because I think the natural response to, uh, seeing him kneel should just be, uh, yeah, who gives a fuck, you know, so it kind of, that's one of those, one of those things, you know, if anyone has an opinion, a very strong opinion, either way, something's wrong with them, I think, and of course, uh, President Trump had a very strong opinion, because clearly something's wrong with him. And, uh, you know, he was, uh, tweeting about that. And so, and so then the NFL changed their decision and then that, that's why no one wants to sing. So basically I, I explained that to my girlfriend in, uh, in Japanese and she was like, oh, okay. You know, and then we're watching like the opening ceremony there. And, uh, I think the NFL kind of, kind of did, uh, a too far in one direction. You know, they had all their, all the opening singers were all black women and, uh, they're like, oh, here's, here's Martin Luther King Jr.'s daughter. Look, everybody, we love the black people. Oh, all of our players are black, too. We love them all. We love, we don't, we support them, you know, even though we don't let them kneel. Even though we told everybody not to kneel, we love, you know, it's like they're trying to go too far in the other direction by having, I don't know, <laughs> just by, just by, just by focusing on a lot of strong black women during the opening ceremony there, you know? I mean, it's no big deal, really, but. It was, it was just kind of uh, noticeable, you know. It was noticeable that they were trying to do something about it. Uh, you know. Anyway, I'm uh, I'm gonna go do a bar here and watch the uh, watch the game with my uh, my buddy, and my lady friend. You know, she wants to drink beer and eat wings like uh, like a like a like a red blooded American. You know, she's uh, she's uh, she's Japanese, but she's becoming a red blooded American. She's gonna drink Bud Light, eat some buffalo wings, and watch Tom Brady lose the Super Bowl. You know. Anyway, that was a few minutes. Thanks for listening. Maybe I'll see you tomorrow.